just wanted to make a quick video for anybody that might uh, find themselves in the same situation that I was in. Uh, we got a recently got a 21 uh, Toyota Highlander, came with one key, already had an X-Tool D7 scanner. Um, when I hooked up to the vehicle to try to see about uh, programming new keys into it and whatnot, I found that there were actually two keys that had previously been programmed into it. We only received one with the vehicle, so one's missing. So ideally, I wanted to delete that missing key and add two new keys. So here's what I did. Um, I went to Locksmith Keyless, um, ordered two of these keys. Uh, it says they're AKS, made by AKS, whoever that is. Um, tried not to just go with the super cheapest since I've heard horror stories about aftermarket keys having issues. So this is what I went with and it turned out great. Um, so they're about 50 a piece. That's an order of two for a hundred bucks. Um, got those ordered, got them in, um, went to hook up the X tool scanner and, um, it, I think actually when I first tried, it had this menu option that said to like enter a token whenever you tried to, uh, remove missing keys or add new keys. And so I ended up finding this listing on AliExpress.com where you could pay like $35 to Xtool. It was an Xtool listing on the AliExpress. Pay for $35 for a token. And supposedly the way that was supposed to work was you enter that token and that's your payment. And then it would pop up the screen that gives you a VIN number and two character strings. And now that you've paid... Through Xtool directly, you could get the 12 character code to enter to uh, make programming changes. But right around the same time that I tried to do that whole process, uh, purchasing that token, um, I guess Xtool decided to, to stop going that route or they changed their software and it no longer works. So, ended up finding this guy, um, Joint DMC auto shop um it on his facebook profile it says he's in tokyo but i think he's actually um vietnamese yeah i think he's actually in vietnam so this all seemed a little sketchy but i decided to give it a shot anyway and turned out to be uh perfectly good service so on his uh facebook i think it, his facebook profile actually says dmc joint space joint and it's got this um this profile picture uh but there's all of his different contact info but uh i ended up i had to download whatsapp i didn't even own what the whatsapp app downloaded it contacted him uh initially got this error from whatsapp automatically telling me that my profile couldn't send messages and 24 hours later it worked but um messaged him and you, you know, he, he basically has to work with you while you're connected to the vehicle. So I think it was around eight o'clock at night, um, was when he was up in the morning over there. And so of course I went to the, in the X-Tool D7 scanner, and I assume this might work for the D8 and other X-Tool, uh, general scanners, but, uh, I specifically have the D7. I went to the, um, the special functions menu, key programming, Smart Keys, uh, Select by Model, Highlander 2020 to 2023, Prox. And then I selected Other Key because it's an aftermarket key, not an X-Tool key or an OEM key. So I selected Other, and it brings you to this menu here. Um, like I said, I wanted to erase keys first and then add two new keys. Now, talking with this guy in um, uh, Vietnam, uh, I thought that I was, he, he kind of has broken English. I thought that I was going to have to purchase three codes from him, which we talked about. And he said, okay, you know, two codes, basically $35, uh, additional code would be 15, total 50. And I double checked with him a few times. Okay. We're talking 50 to do all three of these codes for all three of these functions, which would be Remove missing key would be one code. Add one key, one new key, that would be one code. And add another new key, that would be another code. 
as it turns out, that's not what I ended up needing. So um, I went ahead and connected, told him I was ready. Uh, I hit that erase smart keys and it brought up this uh, menu. This will be unblurry. Well, it's blurry, but anyway, it pops up a pop-up menu whenever I hit erase smart keys and it said, um, told me to, uh, it gave you the VIN number, it gave two strings of characters and said enter the 12 digit password. So basically, once that screen was up, once I had already established communications with this guy on WhatsApp, I had to pull that screen up and you have to leave the pop-up screen up. You cannot back out of it. You have to leave it up because if you back out and you click it again, it's going to show your VIN number again, but it's going to give you two other, two different strings of characters, um, which will make it not work. So um, on that menu, I went ahead and entered the code that he gave me. And, um, uh, I, of course I took a screenshot and I showed him, Hey, here's the screen with the VIN number and the two strings of characters. And he said, wait one minute. A minute later, he gives me a code. I put that code in, uh, hit okay. And if this video will work, um, it's not working, but basically, uh, I hit the, um, the OK button, and then it said, it immediately said, uh, place the, or I, I should back up. When it comes to removing keys in the prompts, it tells you to enter how many keys the quote-unquote customer, which is myself, it told you to enter how many keys the customer brought. Uh, say there had been three keys programmed in, you only had one, you'd put in one so that you could delete the two that were missing. In my case, I put in that I brought one key, which means we should be deleting one key from the vehicle that I don't have. So as soon as I get this code put in, I hit OK. Uh, it goes to the screen that says, OK, place the key that you brought against the start stop ignition button. And so you just place the back side of the key against it. It gave me two beeps, um, which is confirmation that it read the key. And uh, it immediately said, uh, okay, um, missing keys deleted. Um, this guy in Vietnam, I think he wants you to record um, these functions that you're doing so that he can use the information to help uh, provide instructions to other people. Okay, this type of scanner, this type of vehicle, here's exactly what you need to do. So in my case, I recorded um, this video where I was uh, deleting the missing keys. I did that for him, and then um, I turned the video off, and I went straight to the... Um, uh, straight from these erase smart keys, it seemed to work. So I went, I went ahead and clicked add smart keys and I didn't record the video for it. But to my surprise, when I hit add smart keys, it did not ask me for to enter another 12 character code. It just went straight into the menu. So apparently one code worked to, to do everything I needed to do. So I hit add smart keys and it says, okay, uh, it might have told me to place my original key against the ignition first. I can't remember for sure, but it definitely said place each new key against the ignition as well. And then I had seen enough videos to know that uh, after you get done placing your new keys, of course, it'll beep twice again. You'll hear it beep like under, a, under the hood, um, a couple of high-pitched beeps for each key that's successfully read. Um, basically, the menu just sits there. It has a little... Uh, spinning wheel it'll just sit there and spin and you have to just let it time out which is 30 40 seconds something like that so i did that i let it time out and um, then i went to the number of keys checked and it said three keys which meant everything had been successful so i was pretty surprised just entering one 12 character code got the job done but, uh, and then I th I'm pretty sure that when I went to test the two new keys by hitting like the lock unlock buttons, um, I think they didn't work initially, but it, it also gave me a screen that said, if they don't work, 
do this last uh, function, do the program ID box with steering lock. And so for each key, I hit that button, uh, and you can do this function without a code, but I know that for sure. But you hit that button, and it says, okay, place the key uh, against the ignition button. Did that, and then it beeps twice. It goes away. You have to hit this program ID box with steering lock button again and just repeat that process for all the keys. I did that, and they were all working. Um, so uh, yeah, what it came down to price-wise... I'm pretty sure OEM keys, I didn't see them cheaper than about $150 a piece. So if I had bought two OEM keys, new OEM keys, they would have been $300. I asked my local dealership how much it would cost to program keys. They said $80 for to do both. And then I didn't ask about cutting the metal blanks, but I'll just assume, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, assume they would have done that part for free. That still would have been $380 for two keys. So that's... 190 per key. My two keys, I spent $100. The programming, I ended up um, with the PayPal. Basically, I, I, I left out that um, because it only was one code with this guy um, and I paid him 50 total up front, I was like, so can I get that $15 back that I didn't need? And he was like, sure. So he sent it back. But because we did payment, um, I think it was because we did payment for goods or something like that. There was some fees and stuff in there. Maybe it was because of the international transaction. But basically, it cost me a total of 35 The other thing I should mention is he quoted me 35 for one code or two codes or whatever. Um, his Facebook and stuff actually says 30 So you might be able to do get a code from him for closer to 30 than the total of 38 that I spent after I received the refund back from him. But I'm still pleased with it. Uh, and then the metal key blanks. I was tempted to buy this little um, key cutting, vertical key cutting machine, Defu, D-E-F-U. Uh, it cost about, the cheapest one I saw was about 105 bucks shipped uh, because they're, they're made, they're solid metal. So the shipping charge is usually high, but I couldn't justify it because I found a local company that would cut uh, both of the key blanks for 25 a piece. So I only had to pay 50 for that total for everything for my two keys, two new keys, 188 bucks. It's $94 a piece. So I saved 192 bucks, um, which uh, was a savings of $96 per key. So uh, just wanted to put the video out there because um, when I was researching, trying to find out how to do this on a D7, basically the general gist I got from everywhere was it can't be done, not for this type of key. And um, the this key, you know, for the one I ordered, it says 21 to 22. From what I searched, it looked like this type of key that looks like that might have existed with some Toyota models all the way from 19 to possibly up to 2024 at this point. It's now 2025. Um, and so this might be an applicable process for a whole lot more years. And then I'm pretty sure the Highlander keys and the RAV4 keys are pretty much the same, I think. So I'm assuming uh, right away that it, this would work for RAV4 keys. And then I think there's other models, Corollas, uh, Camrys, Avalons, that also in that same, around that same time frame that use that same type of key. So this might apply to a whole lot more of them, but for the low cost, uh, even though it feels kind of sketchy, um, if you have a PayPal account and you download the WhatsApp uh, app, you can get in touch with this guy and apparently he's legit. I, before I made the decision to do that, I looked and I saw where a whole bunch of people had left, uh, reviews in some locksmith forums and stuff for this guy. And so I decided to give him a chance and it turned out great. So just want to let you know, uh, hopefully this helps.